Yo everyone, welcome back to the first video of 2022. This would have been a lot earlier, but I've been feeling really ill. I've done a PCR, I'm feeling a little bit better, you can probably tell by my voice. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to make some more FIFA card designs. So let's just get straight into it. But before we do, if this does help, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It does help out. We're going to be grinding, 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 grinding YouTube this year. Uh, so yeah, like I said, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so there is a PSD in my Google Drive, which will be in the link in the description. But it's it, it's literally how to make your own foot cards, and it comes up with, with a load of different assets to use to make your own foot cards. Uh, but we're just going to walk through step by step on what I've done. So uh, there's a clean background, and then there was a layer above it. We just went with red. And then we added, um, so by the way, clipper mask is very, very important in this. Um, I've been clipper masking a load of different things onto a load of the brushes, etc. To give it of just like a better effect in a way. But we added, we clipper masked this royal texture on top and put it as, as you can see here, it comes up with a load of different, um, a load of different like options. We went with color burn. And then again, we clipper masked another texture onto it. Um, it doesn't look good at the moment. But that's because we added a tick. And as you can see here, we added that same type of texture, but golden onto the tick. If you want to know how to do that, uh, I'm, I'll, let me just uh, release the clipper mask dead quick. And then go into my Google Drive. Uh, so Google Drive, My Drive, FIFA 22, Textures. And here we have a load of different type of textures. So the one we used here was HHV1. Uh, but we're just going to pull out this one just to show you. Um, so, yeah, pop it on, right click on the texture, but it has to be directly above, it has to be directly above um, the texture, uh, the thing you want to clip and mask it onto. So, create clip and mask, and as you can see, it clip and masks onto the tick. You know, you can still move it about, do whatever, but yeah, like I said, we've done it with the H HHV1. Um, Let's just delete that dead quick and then show you what I did with the HHV1. And then I rotated it. Just made it a bit bigger so it fit the size. Create clipper mask and bam, there, there I had it. Then I just went to filter, camera roll filter to make to make the texture look actually good. Because it looks a bit dead at the moment. The colour isn't bright enough, blah de blah de blah. So went into camera roll filter. Just gotta wait for this to load. There we go. Added a few effects, so we're the contrast up, highlights up, shadows up, uh, we turn that up quite a bit, uh, whites up quite a bit, blacks up quite a bit, texture up, clarity up, dehaze up, you know, just all the normal stuff. Uh, turn the vibrance down, and then I turned the temperature up as well uh, to make it, to give it more of a golden effect. So as you can see, um, it changes quite a bit. Now I've got more of a golden effect, so uh, we ended up with this. Then we added the tick um, shadow. So obviously, as you can see, it doesn't. It's not much detail, but it's enough detail. Then we added a few brushes, like some golden brushes. So how again? How I done that was with this OIP. Uh, I went into. You can literally pick any dry, any any brush at all. So let's just go with this FIFA 22 one, for instance. So as you can see, um, a, FIFA 20, a FIFA 22 brush, then if I go into textures, OIP, so it's just a golden texture. Again, make it the right size, clip and mask, and boom, now I have a golden, a golden uh, brush that I can put anywhere on the cards. Uh, obviously, I, like you can see, but we don't need that now. We don't need that. Okay, next we're adding two golden lines on the right, just to give it more of a royal effect. Uh, we just need to clip and mask these onto it. And then we added the phaser bottom, which clip and mask that onto. The, literally the only, you can change the colour by just right clicking, blending options, colour overlay, and then changing it to whatever, but we're going with the dark red. 
like that fits this theme. So it was about that, yes. And then we add a little crown at the top. But now it's time for the border. So we're starting off with the inside border. So as we've got three different options. We've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. We go with one. And then we clip and mask the OIP, so the golden texture, um, on top of it like that. So as you can see, because we put it on overlay, the no matter what, because it goes dark here and lighter here, no matter what. So like that. I'll show you now. So if I was to do blue, I just need to turn it on here real quick. As you can see, it's lighter like up here, but darker at the bottom. Um, and we'll, just for another example, let's go with green. As you can see, it's a lot lighter at the top than it is at the bottom. Um, so with this, lighter at the top, darker at the bottom. Lovely stuff. So that's the inside border done, and then we had an outside border. So we have a few outside borders to choose from, I chose number two. This is not what it looks like, uh, this is just how I've done it, because I changed it up a bit. So I cut this bit out of the border, and put the golden texture over it again, clip and mask it. And then we added the rest of the border, but in dark red, and that is the card design that I have made. Loyalty, royalty, it's called. So then, what you'd have to do now is merge it. So let it merge. And then do filter, camera roll filter. Go through with it. Add a few effects to it to make it look better. So once it does that, once it opens, I will be able to show you that. So again, I just turn the texture up, highlights up. I turn the shadows down because it makes the back more, more dark and it makes the tick stand out more. Uh, I turn the whites up. I turn the blacks down a little bit. Then I added the texture up, clarity up a little, the haze up a little, and then um, I turned the vibrance down just a tiny, tiny bit. And that is that is how I made my loyalty royalty card. So if I can actually let me compare, because uh, this was last night, PNG large loyalty royalty. It's base basically the same. We basically had came out with the same outcome. Uh, just mine is a bit more red, so I probably turn the vibrance down a bit more and the and the saturation up a bit. Um, so that is what we ended up with. Then a lot of you, a lot of you actually ask how do I how do I add a dynamic image? How do I change the text, the color of the text, the color of the card bar? So you know what? I'll walk through it with you now. So. Can you just tell, by the way, I'm a bit sick? Well, not a good way to start 2022, is it? Um, but, so I go to the Getty Images. You know, let it, let it do its thing, whatever, whatever. Let it load up properly. And then, once it's loaded up, I went with De Gea. So, got to find a good De Gea render to use. So I'll use a different one to last time that I used. Save image as... Just save, just save it anyway. It doesn't really matter where. Um, file open. Desktop open up this Getty Images file. And now, as you can see, there is a little lock on the right hand side here. You've got to press that. And quick action. So in properties, it'll come up with like transform, align, and just dis uh, and distribute. In quick actions, remove background is there. You just press remove background and let it do its work. Once it's done that, it does take a little while, uh, so just let it, you know, do its thing. It should happen any minute now. I think it's done. It's done it now. There we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So now, I what I do, I put it into a group. Uh, I group it and then merge it just so it disappears. Uh, then you want to click on this messy. Control C, Control V. Put the, the put the render right into the card. It's already got the pre uh, the pre uh, fade. Then to change the color of the fade, so as you can see right now, like it, it was black. You want to change it to the dark red. What I do is I use this color, uh, this little pen tool, and I just press on the color that uh, that the bottom of the card is. So there we go. We already have we already have the player render done. Now time for the card bar. So when you click on the card bar, it you can see these four little it, like this. Um, 
this gradient tool is highlighted you've got to press on the file again until the little like until the square uh, things around it move blending options color overlay and again i just use the bottom of the card and it, it changes to that so there we go now time for the text and lines so again just say right click blending options color overlay and then again i want to choose a color i don't want to go with dark red obviously because it doesn't um you want to use the other color that you've used so if you went for like a like in this instance i've went for like a gold and a red the bottom of the card is red so i'm you go with gold uh, so i'm going to go with like a this type of color and then again if you don't know how to change the nation and badge if you can see in this little bit here the nation and badge both have a little um both have a little thing in the bottom right corner they're called smart objects so all you want to do is right click inside that and then it should open a file okay so the file is now opened as you can see it's got like south america oceana blah de blah de blah choose whatever a, a nation player you're picking so obviously we went with the hair and he's spanish so we're gonna choose the spanish flag so these little eyes here are obviously the thing that makes it visible or not um so you've just got to do that like just press press on this little thing on the left here and it will like make it appear um, then once you've done that you press Control s to save it then you can just close that file and once it's closed it'll take you back to the original file so the cards that you're designing don't know why my computer's being slow today there we go and as you can see that the nation has been changed and then just same with the badge open it up open every folder up premier league united's already there Control s to save And then get rid and there we have it obviously then you just press on that t to change the text so goalkeeper oh needs to be caps goalkeeper uh, to do this to edit the text if it does change to a different font that means that you haven't got this font downloaded uh, it is din pro uh, condensed medium all of the fonts that i use so like like here for instance for me edits for thumbnails Hyperwave 2, Riften, Dim Pro, Druk Wild Bold, uh, Hyperwave again. Like all these are available in my Google Drive. Uh, link in the description once again. So yeah, if you do need, if you do need to, uh, you know, download them, it's pretty easy. You literally just click on it, double tap, press download, and then it'll say install. Um, and then yeah, for the goalkeeper, it has we have the player. And the goalkeeper stats. So obviously change it to goalkeeper. Change the numbers to whatever. And bam, there you have it. And this was the final product. Let me just get it. A prediction. No, it wasn't prediction. It was in concert. Loyalty, royalty. De Gea. And oh, 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 oh. It's in the, it's in the text, uh, text and lines. And... That was the final outcome that we had. A 94 David De Gea loyalty royalty cards. And there we go, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If this did help, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Go follow all my socials in the link in the description. If you do make a card design using this template and watching this video, please make sure to send me it on Instagram and I, and I will repost the best few on my story. And... I hope 2022 was a good one. 2021 was a good one. If you didn't watch last video, it is me just literally. My my 2021 journey is where we first started. And we're in a very, very good place at the moment. But I'm getting better. More videos coming soon. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.